So in previous uh, videos, we've already talked about basic binary addition and subtraction, and we talked about groupings. So what happened when we have this uh, network one, one, two, top one, six, one, six, eight, zero, dot, zero, with a subnet, two, five, five, two, five, five, two, five, five, dot, zero. So what we have to do is we're going to be working. All of these are locked in. Only this guy right here can be manipulated. So what we do is we look at the last group. What is the last one? Let's write all of this out in binary. One, 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 one. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All I did was take our subnet and put it in the binary. What is our last one or our first one? If we're coming from this route, our first one is this guy. If we're going from our last one, it's the same thing. What is this position? If we start with here, 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, this is in the 256 spot. We know that we can't go that high because that requires nine digits. But there's 256 numbers that we're going to use for our range. So our range is actually going to be 0. Again, 192.168.0, those are still there, so we're not writing them. That's our start or our network. ID and our broadcast is going to be 256 numbers past that or 255. 0 to 255, that's 256 numbers. Our range is going to be between 1 and 254. So that's how we do this type of problem. We still look what number that is, and then we just calculate based off of the 256. Remember, we start with zero, so we have to include zero. But the question then becomes, what happens when we start chaining octets? What happens if we wanted to go one more? How do we take a zero and subtract from it? Or how do we take a 255 and add one more to it? We can't. Uh, 255 is all ones. So, what happens if we add another one to it? What ends up happening is, we already know that becomes 256. But we cannot do that within our eight groups, because our eight groups it maxes out at 255. So instead of doing 9, like that, we still keep breaking our networks into groups of 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That way that ninth bit is actually in our third octet, our third group. That was an important concept because as we start getting into subtraction, for example, what happens instead of this, we have how do we do our ranges there? And again, here the subnet mask would still be. Here, our grouping would be in the 128. Because again, starting from the right, you just take one and start doubling it. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. So here, we're going to have a grouping of 128. So the next network
the next network would actually start with, and we're going to increment by 128. Again, we can't go to 256. That doesn't work because we're doing groups of eight. But here's our start. Here's our end. And that would be 127, 255. Now remember, if we add one to 255, it doesn't go to 256. It has to change all the bits in one octet to zeros, and then it moves one over. So that was an important thing. And just for completeness sake, our range is going to be 121 through 126, 129 through 254. These are addresses. So remember, no two things can have the same address on the public network, meaning there can't be any overlapping. We start with zero, then the first usable number is one. If we start with 10, the next usable number will be 11. We cannot have two of these numbers overlap. That was really it for our addition. This was a hard concept for most people, so I figured I would do a video on how to go from 256, or how to add one to 255, and how it doesn't go to 256. Thank you.